If you are having problems connecting your LG TV to a Wi-Fi connection, then this is the video for you. Now, normally when you turn on the Wi-Fi on your LG TV, it will start searching for Wi-Fi networks over here. If it's not searching for Wi-Fi network, that means that there is actually something wrong inside the TV, as you will see later on in this video. Now, I have two solutions for this problem. Solution number one is very simple, does not require a lot of money, and is something that you can do right now in your home. Solution 2 is much more complicated and I'll explain more when we get to solution 2. Now this is what is referred to as an Ethernet cable. Some people call it a network cable and other people call it a LAN cable. At the back of your LG Smart TV, you also have a port labeled as LAN. LAN means local area network. So my simple solution is that you are going to use this cable to connect your TV to the internet. Now if you have Wi-Fi at home, chances are you have a router. This is a router from my local provider. I'm just using this tape to hide my account number. On your router, you also have some LAN ports. My router over here has four LAN ports. And so what you're going to do is to use this cable to connect internet from this router to the TV directly without using Wi-Fi. So you'll just go to your router with your Ethernet cable, plug it into any Ethernet port, then go to the back of your TV and insert this cable at the back. You have this plug over here and this will correspond with that space on the left over there. So just plug it in fully like that. On your TV you will see something like this where the network is connected. So that was the first solution. As you can see it's a very simple solution and anybody can do it at home. Just make sure that your router is connected to the internet and is actually powered on. Now, if you don't have this cable with you, then this cable is actually very, very cheap. This is a cable that costs around 200 Kenya shillings or less. This is around less than 2 US dollars. Now, there are some very big advantages of using an Ethernet cable over using a Wi-Fi connection. Number one is speed. You will get a much faster speed with Ethernet than with Wi-Fi. Number two is that it is reliable. That's because Wi-Fi is susceptible to interruptions from frequencies. So you will get some slowdowns with a Wi-Fi connection. Number three is that your TV will use less power while on an Ethernet connection than when on a Wi-Fi connection. And the last biggest advantage of using an Ethernet cable is that these cables can be made to order. If your TV is far from your router, just measure the distance between your TV and your router. Go to your local computer guy, give him the distance and tell him to make you an Ethernet cable and he will indeed make you an Ethernet cable. Now this Ethernet cable came with a router that I had previously and this is an Ethernet cable that I specifically had made for my TV over here. It takes the internet from this router into my bedroom with no worries. So you can actually have your TV very far from the router and it will work perfectly. Like I said before, the second method is a little bit complicated and that involves opening the TV up. So this part of the tutorial is for trained and certified technicians and engineers. So this is the inside of my smart TV. That's the power supply. That's the motherboard, the left speaker and the right speaker. I have just removed three screws. One over here, another one in the middle over there and another one over there. And this will enable me to remove this plastic piece at the bottom over here. Over here you can see the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module. So when the Wi-Fi on your TV is not working, this is usually the problem. This is the module removed from the TV. Now this particular module on my TV is a combo module. This means that it's a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module. The Bluetooth part is for the magic remote control and the Wi-Fi part is for the Wi-Fi. You guessed that right. And over here you can see that's the model name. And over here, importantly, this is the part number. It starts with EAT. So if you remove this module from your TV, you are going to need this part number in order to get a replacement part. Such a small module. This is another module from a TV from 2014. This particular model does not come with the magic remote control. And that's why it does not have a combo module. It only has one module. The Wi-Fi module. Now on some TVs you will find that they have two modules, one for the Wi-Fi and another separate for the Bluetooth module.
Repairs involving changing the Wi-Fi module on your LG Smart TVs are much involving and they are not cheap. Replacing this module is going to cost you around 10,000 to 20,000 Kenya shillings. This is around 100 to 200 US dollars. On top of that money, then you will have to add some time for ordering this part because if the part is not available at the moment that you want it, then you will have to wait for it maybe three weeks to around two months. So according to me, it's much better to use an Ethernet cable than to use a lot of money replacing a very small thing which does not have a lot of advantages that an Ethernet connection has. Now in order to replace this, then you need to order one just like this one and you actually need the part number. That number you can see EAT up to 301, that is the part number. So you will need to order this. So I can actually replace this module with this module over here because they have exactly the same part number. According to me, there's no need to change this module for an out of warranty TV. The only time you should be changing this module is if the Bluetooth is not working and that is for a combo module. This is a Bluetooth and Wi-Fi combo module. So if your magic remote control is not working, you've changed the magic remote control, is still not working, then this might be the problem. So if the magic remote control is not working, then it's worth it to replace this. But for Wi-Fi only, then it doesn't make sense to replace this module. I have just replaced this Wi-Fi module with another one inside there. Lucky for me, I didn't buy the replacement part because I got it from a broken TV. So let's see if the Wi-Fi connection is actually working. And over here you can see it's actually working. Before, we couldn't see any of this before. So that's it guys. My name is Dominic. Thank you for watching and goodbye.